All right, I wanted to do something today because I I'm, was talking to another carver who um, had been doing some uh, work by Doug, some uh, uh, work that, uh, a pattern that Doug used with uh, his cardinal. And um, he had told me that he and some other guys had were uh, doing some of these little cardinals and uh, I don't know if you've seen Doug Linker's uh, Cardinal or not, but I mean, it's, I mean, people are doing it uh, all over the place and it's, it's a wonderful little pattern. It's wonderful the way he does it, teaches you. But he was asking me, he said, um, he said, you know, and he hasn't been carving that long. He said, you know, I know probably I have trouble with sharpening and stuff, but he said, I'm really struggling with the dials, how hard they are. And um, I said, yeah, some of those dowels are pretty hard. Some of them are made out of birch. Some are made out of, uh, out of pine. Some of them are made out of popular. Some of them made, and some of them were very, very hard. They are. Uh, even Doug was in his video on the Cardinal was talking about, uh, you know, how hard, you know, you get pieces that are very, very hard. And you really have to know how to put that fine touch on your knife to get, to work with hardwood like that. Because most dowels are hardwood. I think they do make basswood dowels, but um, they're very hard. It's they're, they're very difficult to get, uh, especially in one inch or whatever it is. So I'm gonna show you today. Uh, I thought I was thinking about it and I was thinking, well, is there another way to do the bird uh, in the way that Doug does it um, but yet possibly use basswood. Well, there is. Now, you've got several ways that you can do it. You can get a, you can cut you a block like one, one and a quarter by one. Now, this is a one inch by one inch by four and a half right here. But you can actually cut you a block of basswood that's a inch and a half by inch and a half um, on all sides. And you can actually take and whittle the sides down. In other words, and make your own dowel out of basswood. And then you can carve, it's a lot easier to carve the bird with. Now my first response, of course, is well, don't, don't necessarily just do that and not learn how to sharpen because it's extremely important to learn. Take your time. Uh, if you're with a club or anything like that, let them help you teach you how to sharpen correctly. This is not a video on okay I don't have to have a sharp knife okay but if you want to use a piece of basswood you can use a one inch by one inch block to make these birds with and um, I'm gonna show you how you can do that now this is not a re you know a rebuke of Doug's video <laughs> the the design that Doug created that little cardinal with is just um, just fantastic and people are using it and in fact you're going to see that the bird that I do is probably a lot different than the way necessarily his looks but all I'm trying to do is is if you are really struggling that hard uh, that it was a he told me that another friend of his it's Carver was using the dowels but after about two birds, I mean, his hands were just worn out and he was, you know, and so I want to show you how with a piece of basswood, one inch by one inch, uh, by four and a half, I mean, you can make it any, any size, in other words, you can still make these little birds. Now, I'm not going to turn the head on this bird. I'm strictly going to make it straight. This is not a, 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 well look, we're gonna do Doug's video over. No, if you wanna learn how to turn the bird, then go back and let Doug explain to you how to do it. And it's the same premise as, as using a block of wood. The same premise. There's, there's nothing different. But all I'm gonna do is show you how that you can use a block of wood also to create that form of bird that he, he has taught you how to do. 
And if you notice when I start this, it's going to be the same premise as what he teaches you. But it's just using, uh, as a lot of people say, I would like to use basswood instead. And uh, you can also use the other way, but a one inch like this, and you, you cut the, you know, you make a dowel out of it, then you only got about three quarters left probably or whatever. So you want to use at least one and a one and a half by one or one and a quarter inch uh, thick dial, uh, thick wood, and then then you can take the edges off. You'll get your one inch dial out of it, and then you can carve it. But I'm going to show you how you can use the corners to also carve and make the beak on the bird and everything like that. So okay, that's pretty self-explanatory. Um, now. Uh, this little bird has become very popular um, with uh, carvers, and I'm so glad it is. Doug's ideas and his projects are wonderful, and um, he's he's been doing a lot of projects with dowels. So has Alec uh, uh, LaCase, and and uh, he's done some some uh, uh, lighthouses with him, and and Doug's done some lighthouses with him. So, you know refer to his his teachings but I'm just going to show you how that you can use a plain one inch by one inch piece of uh, basswood that would be easier to carve um, that way so you use the same premise as Doug except what we're going to do is we're going to come and use the edge we're, we're going to use the diagonal edge to do this and as just with Doug we're going to take this and we're going to come on each side and we're going to start removing the wood on each side of the uh, piece okay because we want to bring this to a um, I was so pleased to learn that Doug is is with Wood Carving Illustrated now. He is making videos that are going to be so helpful to the people, and um, uh, this is this is just great. It it really is. <clears throat> I'm sorry, I've got a kind of a cold. I've been uh, this weather has been crazy down here in Texas, so we're just going to keep uh, kind of getting that the way we want to and then we're gonna come back here and we're just gonna kind of come forward just like that and this is where your beak and all that stuff's gonna be okay this is where it's gonna be and then we're gonna come forward right there okay now we're gonna drop down just a little bit where the beaks gonna be and I'm gonna draw the top where the top of the beak is, and then I'm gonna draw another little line right here. Okay, do you see that? Now let's go to the bottom, and we're just gonna use the corner, which is an easier, easy way to make your beak, in other words, okay? And then you come to the top of the beak, and you come down like this, okay? And that beak will come down a little bit anyway. All right, do you see that? See what we're talking about? And let's just go ahead and thin this up as we come here like this. All right. Okay. Now, before we go any further, let's get our... Oh, getting old. Let's get our, our thing... And I'm just gonna do that. It's a little, of course, that's too big. We're gonna have to bring that down just a little bit as far as the beak is concerned. And from the beak, we're gonna come down about a half an inch is what we're gonna do. About a half an inch or maybe a little bit more than a half an inch. And we're gonna draw a line right there, okay? That's gonna be where our 
and we're gonna make a cut right there and we're gonna come from this side and we're gonna make a cut right there okay there we are just like that basically it's the same format that Doug is doing okay it's not a whole lot different it's just using a block of wood rather than a dowel okay now let's just go ahead on each side let's run that like this okay now by extending that over if we look on each side we're going to measure I like to come down oh let me see about how far I'm just gonna just run this down here like this okay and I'm gonna run this down here to meet that right there and let's see how far that is from uh, uh, coming up from the bottom of it it's about two inches from the bottom so it's the you know, measure about two inches from the bottom and I just randomly drew it just like that in other words and you just make a little triangle where they both meet here as you see that comes meets there and meets there and in that we're gonna take our knife and I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do now okay and we're just going to do this now it's a little bit different than than the way that Doug does it but I'm just I just kind of do this on the fly all right and you're gonna find out that my birds are a little bit more flat plane too <laughs> that, in other words just a matter of cuts as we we commonly say so as you see what we're doing here ah, eyes getting old okay now as you see the bird if you look at him right here then you see what's what's going on here so we're going to take this and we're just going to do that and we're going to do that okay now like I said this is going to be a straight on thing now if you want to turn well go back and watch Doug's as far as turning the tail you can turn the tail or turn the, the head in other words of the bird as he shows you I'm not going to show you how to do that because um, that is to learn from his his teachings in other words I'm just showing you how you, you can use uh, a block of wood rather than just a dowel now I'm gonna come back here on the tail and I'm just gonna kind of do this I'm just gonna run across just like here okay and uh, just run that across like that and then I'm going to cut here and cut here and take this off right in here okay all right so we've just got a little tail back here see that but see the flat the flat cuts I'm making and all this stuff in other words that's just that's just me okay now let's, let's kind of move this up a little bit and uh, we're going to come back here and sort of let me, let me let me come like this okay there we go and we're going to come back here and we're going to make our little cut back here that we are going to make this back cut to give it the little as we say the little hood that we're doing
just like that, okay? And just sort of, and we're gonna bring all this kind of down a little bit, in other words, as we go, okay? All right, now uh, we're going to just make that beak a little bit smaller, and we're gonna just sort of come in here and on both sides cut and bring this up as we say, just like in here. And on the beak, we're going to thin that up. Just like that. Okay. you can see now and at that time we come to the beak and we just make that little cut in there and on this side we do the same thing we make that little cut in there for the beak all right there we go and we come up there and make that little cut in there a little cut in there and we just sort of make that thin that up sort of in there okay all right and then we want to just there we go just like that see what I'm doing okay now what I want to do is come back to the tail and on each side of the tail a little bit, I want to draw just a little line on each side of the tail right here, okay? And we're going to cut that in there, okay? We're going to cut that, and then we're going to make a straight cut there, okay? You see what we did? We can even bring that down a little bit. And we're going to do that on this side. We're going to make a straight cut across. And we're going to make a straight cut there. And that will be where our little tail is. Now, you can make the tail longer, okay? You don't have to make it that short. I made it kind of short. And, but you can make it longer, you know? You can make it a longer tail. I'm just making a little short one right here, in other words. But you can make it a whole lot longer way down there. And then we want to kind of come down here. And let's see. Let me make this a little bit. Okay. Okay. Let's go ahead and make our little line that we make here. Now you can use a V tool to do this. I'm just going to go ahead and you cut and on both sides you remove that wood on both sides. Okay. And then you make your little feather type cut on both sides there you go see that all right, and then let's just sort of get this. See how I'm making that, that kind of scoop tight cut like that? Okay. All right. And let's just sort of 
cut in a little bit more in here. And then cut in a little bit more in here. Now you see what we're doing? Maybe that's a flat plane cardinal. <laughs> or a bird or whatever it is. Now let's go ahead and cut. Now, from this point of the tail, you want to take and draw a line up here like that and, and come just around here. And from that point, you want to do the same thing up here. Okay? That will be where our wing is going to be. So we're just going to kind of cut and come up underneath here like this. Okay? And that will be our wing. And we'll just come up underneath here. Bring this down just a little bit. And the same thing here. We will bring this like this and cut deep and make our wing and bring this down a little bit take some of this off and come and cut this closer down here do, 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 do. same thing here we don't want this just hanging out we want this to gotta watch my hands here okay kind of gives it the dirty look see that okay let's come up here and let's just sort of flatten this up just a little bit in here. Give it that yolky look. Okay. Take this off in here. Now what I want to do is I want to draw a line kind of like this and a line kind of like this. And we're just going to go ahead and put some, some decoration in here. 